Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, this is going to be my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I went and saw it the other day, and uh, as per usual, guys, the setup is the first part of the review is going to be spoiler-free, and then the second part is going to be just a ton of spoilers and talking to more directly to people who have already seen the movie. So if you haven't seen it, I will tell you when spoilers come up, and from then on, you'll just leave the video, and you'll be able to go see it yourself while having in mind my opinion on the, on the movie. Speaking of which, let's start with that. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's really good. I think I like it better than the first one. And I think it's because I've watched the first one tons of times, and um, I think I kind of got bored with the first one eventually. Um, but this one, uh, visually, I think is way more, uh, maybe not stunning, but it's very Doctor Strange as with his visuals. There's a lot of different colors, and there's a lot of mixing of colors as well, which I think is really nice for this kind of movie. And as an actual MCU movie, like I like it. It's a good movie. Um, I don't think it's gonna be one for the history books, but Ego as a character is very interesting and I think personally I like him because I think he's right up there uh, with Ultron who currently is my favorite MCU villain. Um, the story is pretty good. The plot I've heard people say that it kind of gets a little bit too spread out and I would kind of agree that there's times when it takes maybe a little bit too long of a wait to kind of steer from the plot a little bit more but uh, it's very funny. I think it's funnier than the first one which is good because I'm sure that a lot of people who like Guardians of the Galaxy like the humor for it as well. So overall, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, and if you just kind of like movies in general, uh, you'll like this. I, I don't think it's one for the history of books, like I said, but I think that you would like it, so make sure to go see it. Okay, now moving on to the spoiler review. I feel like the reason Ego is a really good character is for one thing because he's very creative. The concept of Ego the Living Planet is very creative, uh, and also because it, he's, like, such a scumbag. <laughs> he is, like, a next-level scumbag who has, like, these big plans, and, um... Speaking of which, I think that the fight scenes between Peter and uh, Ego were probably some of my favorite fight scenes that they've done in the movie so far, because there's just such like an emotional level to it that I think is hasn't really had its weight borne like that in the MCU yet. And the thing with Guardians is that I tend to like forget that it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's so removed from like the Avengers storyline, and I can't really compare it all that easily because it's so vastly different. Uh, it was cool that we got to see Stan Lee as the um. I, he, I thought they meant he was going to be, like, a Watcher in full, like, Watcher garb. Uh, I'm not sure if he's, like, signed up for the Watchers in that scene. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It's implied that he's been, like, examining stuff on purpose. But from the looks of it, it doesn't make him a Watcher, but it makes him, like, some something similar to that, I guess. Which is cool, because I feel like that can kind of tie into uh, the other Marvel movies, and hopefully that means we'll get, like, a Fantastic Four MCU, things like that. Maybe they already have. You know, hints, hints are dropped sometimes long after it's already a thing, so we'll see where that goes. The characters, again, are really good. Uh, Rocket got a lot more screen time, which is cool because I really like Rocket. Nebula got more developed, Yondu got more developed, Peter definitely got more developed. The only thing that I still don't like is I don't think they're doing Gamora very well because they don't really, like, give her a whole lot of character. It's a reason why I think that Nebula should have stuck around with the Guardians instead of leaving at the end, because I feel like with that, Gamora could develop more of her character in the third one, or Infinity War, or things like that. And, um, of course we have... Drax, you know, same thing as he usually is. He's a little bit more down to earth in this one, less very literal, but he's still kind of getting used to it, which is funny. It makes for a lot of really good jokes. Mantis is very interesting. The interaction between her and Drax is always good to watch. It was actually some of my favorite scenes were her interacting with Drax. I think they have really good, like, chemistry for each other, and I think that's, like, a really cool thing to have because it's interesting to watch. As a movie itself, I really like it, and it was genuinely sad when Yondu actually died. You know, that was, like... Some deaths in the MCU haven't really been all that important, but I think that Yondu's, maybe while it wasn't, like, important to the main event they're moving towards, definitely was, like, emotionally important. I think it's important to have in this kind of a movie. Um, ultimately, it's it's the same as, not the same as the previous, I shouldn't say that, it's not the same as the previous Guardian movie, but it's got the same impact on me, where it's, like, it's not really a means to an end of any kind, per se, except for the credit scenes that they did. Um, but ultimately, it's a fun movie, and I think I liked seeing it. Would I go see it again? Yeah, I probably would. Um, again, I don't think it's one of the history books or whatever, but I do like it. I think it's a great movie, and hey, great job, James Gunn. I'm glad to hear that you sticking around for the third one. Awesome job. Now, let's talk about those post credit scenes. Most of them were pretty funny. They, you know, kind of confirmed that, uh, probably by Infinity War, uh, Groot will be a, a full-grown Groot again. Uh, I think the scene with him as a teenager was pretty funny. Um, and we get, like, a few other things, but I think the biggest tease that we got was... Uh, the, co the confirmation of the creation of Adam Warlock by Ayesha in the movie. I think that's really cool because I really liked the um, 
the sovereign's design, like the gold hair and like the gold eyes and the gold skin. I think that was really interesting and like visually it was cool to look at. And I think that doing Adam Warlock like that will be really cool as well. Not to mention that he's just a cool character in general. Um, so yeah, guys, those are my opinions and my review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I think it was a good movie. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And next week I will be back with more science behind superheroes. See you then.